I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 278, where I'm going to show you how to put a timestamp of when the last time a script was executed. I find this very helpful to do because uh, scripting can go rather quickly in Quantrix. And I want to know, or I want to make sure that my script runs. So how can I do that? It's by uh, having a timestamp put into you know, a cell value to indicate that indeed a script has run. And this is something that I've just started doing on all of my Quantrix models. And I gotta tell you, I like it. I think it really adds to the usability of all the Quantrix models that I'm now building. I have here a model and it has a few script buttons associated with it here. Uh, like a version, a general update, and some simul some other uh, scripts that I'm running. Most of my scripts generally have to do with uh, updating data links. Again, I'll quote uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Salisbury here, uh, the Quantrix director, and say, you know, scripting is good for basic tasks in Quantrix, and that's what I found scripting usable for in Quantrix. So a basic task that I like to perform, again, is simply creating data links, and you can see here that I'm doing uh, some data link updates here with uh, user authentication. So I have some username and passwords that are blurred out there. And what I want to do is I want to put into a cell when the last time I executed this script. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created a new matrix and I'm calling it the update time matrix. And it simply has a list of all of my scripts that I've put in here manually. And then it has uh, a format of month, uh, day, day, year, year, and then my time from the hours, the minutes, to the seconds. And how I populate this is down here in this script, I simply write two lines of code that says def d1 equals new date. And then I go out and I reference the matrix where I want to paste this variable of D1. And you can see that it's update time matrix version list refresh item. And it goes out and it populates it. And then what I've done over here on my canvas is I've simply drug in this update time matrix onto my canvas view a handful of times and then I've hidden everything except for the one that pertains to this scripted button here and I've done that for uh, the general update as well as these other scripts that I have in the model so again how am I doing that I'm creating a new matrix and then I'm going out and I'm adding just these two lines of code and every time I update my um, script now it goes ahead and gives me the new time that uh, it was last updated. Again, I found that very useful, and I hope that you find it useful, and I hope that you'll uh, add it to some of the sweet uh, canvases and dashboards that you have in your Quantrix models. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.